Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Ray, and today I'm back with yet another smartphone camera comparison with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and comparing that to the iPhone 13 Pro, which I'm using to record right now with its rear ultra wide camera. Now, as I do in all of these smartphone camera comparisons, everything you see in this video is recorded on these two devices. So just keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which device and which cameras from that device are being used. But before we jump into some comparisons between these two devices, let's take a look at the specs to see how they stack up on paper. And to kick things off, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with its Penta camera setup on the back with a 108 megapixel sensor for its main camera right there at the top, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then two 10 megapixel zoom cameras, one with 3x and the other with 10x magnification. And that one at the bottom there with the square cutout, that's the one with 10x periscope zoom. As far as the selfie camera goes, you're looking at a 40 megapixel selfie camera. 60 frames per second, as can all of the cameras on the back of this phone, except for the main sensor. That one maxes out at 8K, 24 frames per second. As for the iPhone 13 Pro, we have a pretty simple setup on the back with three 12 megapixel sensors for the standard ultra wide and 3X zoom camera, all of those capable of recording 4K video at 60 frames per second. And the same can be said for the 12 megapixel front facing camera as well, maxing out at 4K, 60 FPS for video capture. Okay, so now that we've gotten all the specifications of these two devices all squared away, let's jump into some side-by-side -side photo and video comparisons to see how they compare in everyday use. Let's take a look. And this here's a look at video capture from the rear cameras on both of these devices. 4K 30 FPS from the ultra wide and then being able to switch to the main and then also the zoom cameras. And of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra having the advantage of having 10x zoom from the rear camera with the periscope camera which gets in significantly closer than what you can get with the iPhone.
And here's a look at video captured from the front facing cameras on both of these devices. Uh, the Samsung device is one of the few on the Android side that's able to capture 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, just like the iPhone can. So there's really not much of a difference here. You're really just going to be seeing differences in exposure levels a little bit and how they handle the processing for the video. But as far as resolution goes, you're left with pretty much the same on both devices. Now when it comes to capturing video in low light situations, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is probably one of the best devices within the Android ecosystem for capturing video in situations like these. But the iPhone still does have what seems to be a pretty clear advantage between these two with the main sensors and then switching over to the ultra wide as well. Even though Samsung might not be quite as good, the results still are really, really impressive. To wrap things up, a look at video captured from the front-facing cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's really hard to tell which one has the advantage here, both of them. 
capable of recording the same resolution, but as far as color tones go and overall brightness of the image, I think the iPhone has a slight edge over the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, but let me know what you think in the comments. And that's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let me know what you think in the comments below and whether or not the iPhone 13 Pro can dethrone the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as far as it goes being one of the best smartphones on the Android ecosystem for capturing photos and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.